What's up guys, it's me Evan here from Banalish, and today we're going to take a look at my latest Hot Wheels finds. So first, here we have the Stars and Stripes 67 Pontiac GTO. So here's the full set right here, and as you can see, when you put them all together, you will get, um like a picture, basically, of the American flag. Here's the car, in silver. We got a gold base on here, which is actually really nice. We have some nice stripes on here, the stars and stripes. Uh, the wheels look really nice as well, with the black centers. Next one, we have the muscle speeder, and it's kind of a combination of, like, a retro muscle car and a modern supercar. Once again, with the stars and stripes paint job, red, white, and blue. Uh, you can see it's got a chrome interior, and you can see the engine through the hood there, actually. Which is really cool. You can see the front of the car. Here's the back of the car. Here's the base. See, this thing's pretty neat. And last of the Stars and Stripes cars I could find is this 2018 Ford Mustang GT. In blue, with the Stars and Stripes decals, obviously. Got red around the back rim, and white around the front one. Super cool looking car. I think this thing looks awesome. And that's all I could find for Stars and Stripes. This next car is a Ford Bronco. This is the Ford Bronco R from the new American Scene set. So you can see the card art up here. I never would have guessed this color would look good on the Bronco, but it really does. It really suits it, actually. You have a nice white roof, white interior, white cage and everything. You got a spare tire in the back there. Uh, the rims really look nice. You have some off-road tires with the white rims with the chrome around them. So it's a really nice looking premium casting. I think it looks awesome. We have this guy from Mystery Models. And I don't usually collect Mystery Models because I don't like how there's like three cars in a set that are really interesting. And you have no idea if you're going to get that car or not. I guess you're just going to have to open it up and see. Hopefully it's something cool. And let's see, we have... Oh, dude. Oh, that is nice. Wow, look at that. We got a good one. Wow, that is... That's awesome, actually. We have some clear uh, plastic headlights. Wow, that did not disappoint. That we have a little sticker here. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's the Hot Wheels logo, only it's done up with the uh, paint job of this Porsche. That's actually kind of cool. So we got the uh, Porsche 993 GT2. The Beamer and the Datsun also look very nice. Got like a little uh, coloring page by the looks of it. It's actually kind of cool. You got the uh, muscle bound up here. Got the Roger Dodger and the Twin Mill. We have one more thing to look at. And it is a 5-pack. We have the Matchbox Coffee Cruisers 5-pack. Uh, Take a look at that thing, you guys. Oh, man, the 5-packs are just so hard to open, man. There's probably a, a trick to it, but uh, I don't know that trick, so I'm just going to go with what works. Haul out this plastic piece that has our cars. Come on! There we go. So first we have this nice looking uh, 62 Volkswagen Beetle. Also, never mind the dirt under my uh, fingernails, guys. I've been doing some model cars lately, so uh, yeah. Uh, never mind that. So it's a really nice uh, blue color. It looks really nice. The white bumpers on a Volkswagen. Yes, that looks awesome. You have colored tail lights and buggy written on the license plate. Here we have a cool looking Lotus in the yellow. Look at that. I have a number six on the side. You have a plastic yellow base with some gray along the bottom of the doors. Is that a lot of trunk space? Is that what that is? Is this a rear engine car? I think it is. It makes it, yes, it is indeed a rear engine car as you can see there. Now here's a cool one. Um, for some reason when I looked at this, I thought it was a Ford or a Chevy, but then when I learned that it's actually a Plymouth, it's gonna look really uh, unique in my uh, Dodge collection. Four door. Kind of looks like all four doors are suicide doors. It's actually kind of cool. And I really like how the uh, black fenders are actually uh, 
separate piece from the metal body, so is the bumper. Next, we have this guy, which is most likely my favorite in the set. Look at that. This is my dream truck right here. 1947 Chevy. You like how you have the little corner windows there. That's really cool. We have, like, a little logo on the side. I don't know what that says. It's kind of messed up. Can't read it. Something something Los Angeles by the looks of it. Some nice black pinstriping on the truck as well. Have some chrome around the wheels. You have a gray down in the bed there. Black bumper. Awesome looking truck. I love this thing. I love it. And last but not least, we have this guy. The 1978 Monaco. In a nice gloss black. There's a bit of dust on the paint. Definitely not hard to see that. Now I have a fingerprints and smears on it, but that's fine. That's fine. You have Dodge written on the rear fender there. You have chrome hubcaps. You have gray bumper and grill and lights. You have a siren on it, uh, unfortunately not colored, uh, red and blue, but that's fine, it looks good. Just a very nice looking classic car, I think it looks awesome. And I guess that would do it for this video, everything I found while I went to Walmart, and there wasn't really anything there, they didn't have a fantastic selection at this Walmart, so that I was a little bit disappointed about that, but I'm not disappointed with what I brought home. I brought home some pretty sweet cars. And I'm happy. So, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, all the stuff I'm not gonna take an eternity telling you guys to do. And I'll see ya.